Hi guys, another day, another video. Today I want to show you the Fury B F90 quadrocopter from Gearbest. It's a tiny copter. It's a 2S copter, it's new, uh, with 400 milliamps, 7.4 volt 2S battery. And it has an SP Racing F3 brushed flight controller. And in this version it has a um, DSM receiver for your transmitter. Also a 48 channel 25 milliwatt transmitter with a 600 TV line camera. So I want to show you what's inside the package. So here it is. The tiny copter it's with an wasp design or bee design. No? You have four propellers with three plate props and these big motors camera in the front and video TX antenna in the back a JST connector for the LiPo also includes the LiPo it's an 35C LiPo with 400 milliamps Spare props, charger for the 2S battery, USB charger, and also a mini DVD. The manual you find also in the link in the description. The copter has a diameter of, I think, 90 up to 95 millimeter. It has a carbon button blade and the rest of the parts are plastic also the case with the design this is the camera it's a 48 channel 600 TV line camera with the 25 milliwatt video TX the SP F3 flight controller compatible and already um, flashed with Beta flight 3.0.1 and the flight controller has an integrated buzzer perfect to warn you when the battery is empty and it has micro connectors to the motor so it's easy to replace the motors also. What you see here is the micro receiver for your transmitter. It's a DSM, DSMX transmitter. You can fly this with your Spectrum transmitter or also with your bigger one, the FrySky, when you use a 4-in-1 transmitter module to fly with any copter you want. You can also order this copter without receiver then you can choose your own receiver. I have here a FreeSky 8 channel PPM receiver or SBUS receiver that I can also use here just resolder the wires with the other receiver. You have here the propeller protectors I think a little bit weak but you can get all the parts also as spare parts from the side. You have here the USB connection to update the configuration of Betaflight. I'll show you later. The battery goes under the copter and just connect it here. It's JST connector so it's easy to charge also with your normal charger. I use here the ISDT microcharger with an adapter for JST. And what I think it's perfect, you can fly this copter also with your goggles. I'll show you later some flight footage. In the package also some spare props. I give you the tip just order more. You will need this also the battery is best to order some spare batteries to have longer flight times. 
I think the flight time is here. I've tested about five minutes. It's very well um, from flight time and also the motors and the propellers have a lot of power so it's much more stable like a normal tiny one and I'll show you now from the white the copter itself weighed about 42 gram with the hood 46 gram and with the lipo we have about 70 gram in comparison here the copter with a tiny whoop also modified with camera this is about 24 25 gram the pure b is a lot more stable i think it's I, I like it more from the flight behavior and also it has a lot of more power and flight time so this is what i really like on the pure b in comparison to the tiny groups so and now i will show you how to switch the channels just connect your lipo now you see blinking the receiver and on my on my copter just go to the bind menu when it blinks just enter bind and now you see it bind the copter and when the light is out it is bind so So what you hear, um, sometimes the props goes a little bit to the snap here and when you have this problem just move the motors a little bit up here. For the video takes, just press one time, now we have channel 2, the red light goes out, press again, I have channel 3, channel 4, channel 5 channel 6, channel 7, channel 8, channel 1 again. So the blue light shows you what band you use. At the moment I use here the race band. This is the fourth LED. The fifth LED is for fat shark band and the other bands are in the LEDs before. Just press longer the button and now it's the next one. So this is the picture, I hope you see it. It's really good from the picture. And you see also in direct sunlight or here, it's very good. Also in dark areas, makes really light, bright picture. I show you now the connection in Betaflight. Just use a USB plug. And all components are powered by the USB. So just connect Betaflight. And now you see the configuration. Copter just needs first uh, calibration of the accelerometer uh, on a flat surface so that's absolute um, in level. The next thing is the ports already set for the DSM receiver here with the serial RX in the configuration tab you must choose the brushed also the motor pvm speed separated from the pid speed this is here motor frequency is 32k 
Then from the center value, it's 1500. Minimum throttle is to 1030. And here you can set the battery voltage warnings. The minimum battery voltage per cell is 3.2 volt. So when the copter goes down to 6.4 volt, it will start beeping here. And this is the time where you should land the copter. Also, the GRO update frequency and PID loop frequency is set here to 8 kilohertz and 2 kilohertz. And then you have the PID tuning. These parameters are in this description. I can recommend here to set the rates for the flight behavior. 70 is really good, but when you want a more aggressive flight, then you should upscale this. Also here the settings for Angel and Horizon mode. Angel mode is the really beginner mode. It's very soft here so it's not hard from the flight. Also TPA is set here to lower the PIDs a bit at full power. For the receiver it's important that you set the channel map for throttle, rudder, elevator, aileron and aux channels. This should fit the settings from your transmitter um, that throttle and so on moves on the right sticks. Also you should sub trim your channels that they fit absolute uh, 1500 here um, to have no drift for the copter. You can see it here when this drift here then you should sub trim your sticks that it's no moving copter here in this. Also you can set RC dead band if you have a little fluctuation in the middle here so that is not uh, moving here when the stick is not absolute in the center. So there you have the mods and I had choose here on my AUX3 angel mode and standard horizon mode for more aggressive flying with flip option here and in the third part it will use the acro mode without stabilization. Also I set the beeper on AUX1 to have um, the beeping on a channel when I lost the copter I can switch the, this here. So when you want to update your configuration with my PIDs you can choose the CLI option just copy my my information here just press enter then press save the copter will reboot and all settings are already done for you you just need to set up your transmitter channel mapping so this was my review for a Furby F90 from Gearbest. You find all links in the description. When you like this video, please give me a comment, give me a vote, whatever you want. And just like my channel to not miss any new video in the future. So have fun, bye bye.